I know he's about to spaz for sure. Um, aside from that, damn, who, uh, oh, a, a, a battle that a lot of people probably are not aware of, but I know it's about to be fire, is um, Bad Life Bird versus Polo Row. Mm, I like that yeah, one. Polo Row, when you hit the Polo Row, you interviewed him, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, he's been he's been trying to make some noise, travel a little bit. Um, and he's going up against Bad Life Bird, which is one of the top females in Michigan. Um, she's coming out of Flint. And um, that battle is going to be – that battle is – and what's crazy is her man – is a bad rapper as well. He's from Flint and he's on the card as well. So, um, you know, a little, little Valentine's mm. Day connection to, to, uh, you know, a, a couple on the card. So, you, you know, they have, they not, they not about to, they're not trying to make that drive back to Flint. Um, you know, sick off a of loss. So. Let them know who our, who, who our man is. Let, let the people well, our know. Our man is double, double O. He's going up against, uh, AP. AP. So. Yeah, yes, I'm familiar with I'm familiar with him and Bad Life Bird, man. She she different. I like her style. I like her swagger. She's very one, confident. One of the funniest, and that's already picked you up. No. One of the funniest females I've ever met. Larry. Yeah, no, no. Her personality, and we they need that in, in battle rap, especially for the women. They need people with personality and somebody not scared to talk they shit. Salute uh, Stevie Gambino with all the the props. I see all the hearts and shit. Shout out Flavor. Man, y'all guys be showing so much love, man. Y'all don't even have to appreciate that. For the those, fan, who, the fan base is crazy. They they, they go hard. Man. Yeah, no, nah, man, I, I I love them. They know that. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm with uh, uh, B Foster Child, man. He, you know, if I, I call Nico the voice of the West to me, this is the voice of Michigan right here, man. Like I humbly appreciate him coming because, like I said, I'm not gonna front to y'all. Like I know everything that's going out. Yeah, Foet Dev Dev the Demon Midwest Dev Podcast Midwest Podcast. We in here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I wouldn't front. I don't know everything that's going on, but he does. He's well tapped in. And shout out, thank you for sharing. But, yeah, Bad Life Bird versus Polo Row. Now, Polo Row, unfortunately, he said he didn't do so well versus, uh, who did he battle? Uh, uh, Butter. Butter from the block, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. do you think he all the way locked into this one? I'm not going to lie to you. I heard it sick. Oh, you heard it? I probably shouldn't say that, but I heard it sick. It's, it's kind of crazy? That's a funny mother, <laughs> that's a funny it's kind of crazy. I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm looking forward no, to. I, I've heard, and then I've heard people that have that have heard bird shit. No pun intended, but it's gonna be one of the ones. Like, it's gonna... All right, so you got that as battle tonight, low key, then. Oh, some low key shit. Just because I, I have a, uh, I have a, I, I have an idea where where he at. Mm. I'm looking forward to that one, and I know I know that he gonna. And Polo always like, this year. Polo battled a lot of my brothers, a lot of people that I was cool with, mm. and you know, so I I had to kind of hold back on my support for Polo, but Polo is a monster. Yeah, Polo gets busy. His rebuttal and freestyle ability that shit takes his his like and a great and a great rapper too. Great rapper uh, on, on the beat. Oh my god! Yeah, it takes yeah. it to another level. I see Ref in the building. Shout out to Ref Nelson. That's Nelson from Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Midwest Battle Rap. Let's go. Yeah, you know we got to talk about it. Shout out to Payne, too. I heard Payne advancing the Crucible. Shout out to Payne. My brother. My brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One love to all of them. So, yeah, man, I'm going to show the, uh, the the card on the screen for those who don't know what we're talking about. Again, this is tomorrow. It's going down in Michigan. It's going down for Alpha League Entertainment. Uh, first of all, the flyer dope. Like, it's <laughs> and, and the, shout out to the roses. The roses, a one on the artwork, a one on the camera work. Yeah, local, local made, local made, local built a family, a family coming together That's doing awesome. this. Oh, that shit is so dope and inspiring, yo. Like this shit crazy. Like he said, Polo Road, Bad Life Bird, Mister Bigs. If y'all don't know Mister Bigs, he battled the Saga. That uh, that classic little opener by Saga when he's singing the Mr. Big song that he's back on the oh bar. Oh my god! <laughs> that shit had I'm me going. I'm glad on camera because I was wailing that motherfucker. That uh, shit had me going, bro. So yeah, you had that. Ron Isley. <laughs> said, right. yeah. yeah, the Ron Isley joint. Look, look, look. Yeah, the Dev no. Uh, yeah, and you got other guy PDX man. He's interesting. He's from Chicago, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he sent me some of his uh, material from his last battle, and he that's going to be like a really interesting because both of them, Vicious Ink, they both got very unique styles. Yeah. 
very unique styles, very distinctive. You won't see nobody rapping like these two on here. Nope. Nope. So uh that's gonna be that's gonna be different, man. Last time I was seen when Literally, that's, uh Vicious Inc. That's 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 his slogan is I write different. That's he his. write different. When the last time you seen him last time I seen him was versus Oswald. I can't remember last time I seen All him. Right. That was a while ago though. Yeah, no, nah, I like Vicious Ink style. I like this PDX kid style too, man. I'm looking forward to it. Um, who else we got on here? Ooh, see, I didn't even see. See, I'm asleep. You I, see, I see. Is that oh Top Gun of Butter? For, oh no, 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 Rain Terror versus Tony Nova. I like Tony, man. Yeah. I like Tony. I think I think he got a lot of potential, man. He got a lot of potential. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I want to see King on here. I wanted to see him on here because King, King is fire. King is a problem. King is fire. Um, for those who do, I, I think most of y'all know King because I showed his battle in here. Um, he is. He, Which one you do again? I Stubs? did. I know it was him versus. Oh. Uh, What's his Glow, name? Right? T.I.D. Glow? Glow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Glow. T.I.D. Glow. Yeah, I did Stubbs versus Noah, which was crazy. Thanks to you. You the one who put me what well, in Facebook. You you put me up on that battle, and I, I put it in the top 20 honorable mentions of 2020. That was a dope-ass battle. Um, Hardcore Flavor said it might be a 3-0 because you had him first and second. Who is you talking about, Flavor? Who are you talking about? Uh, King? I, yeah, I had King with a third. What, what did you have? You had him with a third. Uh, Glow, man, not to not to make an excuse, but Glow was battling like every week. Like, yeah, was, he was. So by the time, matter of fact, him and King battled in Ohio the week before. They was out there together battling the week before. But yeah, he was. Uh, there might have been around. There might have been around that uh, Glow could have won. But yeah, overall, yeah, King King got. It. Yeah, for facts, man. Joey Linwood versus Clax Green. How you now, how, how hip are you to Clax Green? I've seen, like, footage. I've never seen a complete battle. Of course, I mean, I'm familiar with Joey, but Clax, i only seen, like, a snippet somewhere. Uh, what can Clax. you tell us about him and his style? What, what is he like? Okay, Clax is, uh, he's definitely a writer tip, not a, not a puncher guy, more of a, set up to the haymaker type dude. Mm-hmm. Um, but Clax in his in his heyday, the, the vintage Clax was scary. Scary. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you hip to Michael Lice. Absolutely. Yes. Oh yeah, uh, of course, of course. Yeah, that's the guy he, right here. He he I don't want to say body. He Get got I got this was early ice, okay. but he got ice out of here. Like like Clax Green, I feel like I feel like he never got out of battle rap when he really wanted to, mm-hmm. so he stopped taking it serious. But a vintage Clax Green was a prime. So he was like, would you say in his, his prime, he was one of the elites in, in the state? At a time. Yeah. At a time. You know, he was just one of the ones in the state that didn't get the ill will. Uh, Matt, JC, um, Mark Minor, mm. J Rail. He didn't. He he didn't get. He didn't get that type of um, exposure for whatever reason. Damn, um, that would be happening sometimes. So yeah, you know, everybody can't. You know, it, there, there's certain guys that you know was right up there, but never got that look. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, kept class green and Joey gonna kill because every time I would be going against Joey and he find a way to win. <laughs> he every turn up. Time. Yeah, every time because because Joey. Uh, Joey just do Joey. He don't. He never really veer off from what he do. You know, he's not real exciting and wild. Right. But, but um, he's he right in the, the pocket. He's yeah. right. In the po- I, I I like Joey. I ain't gonna hold you. Like uh, he he. A good nigga, cool nigga, funny as hell. You know, yeah. like, like yeah. He's but, witty. Um, he, his style never bothered me. I rock with what Joey does. Yep. But if it's yep. any, but if class is anything like you said, like how his prime was, like I said, I've seen a few snippets here and there of people that rock with him, and I was impressed with it. So that could be another battle to look forward to because, you know, Joey is consistent, if anything. You know what I'm saying? Not for nothing. Definitely I, consistent. So definitely. I, yep. I, I definitely want to see that battle happen and be good. He's, he's due for a name just to see, like, well, where is Joey really at, though? Mm. Like, 
You know, he, he do for somebody to really come in there and try to knock his butt. It might be Clax. Clax might be the dude. I was about to say, you got do you got a name in mind you would want to see him lock in with? I don't know. He's a he's a puncher. Um he a tall nigga. So I, I feel like you gotta put tall against tall. That's that's why him that's why uh the last he battled AP last. Like they like putting him against tall, other tall niggas. So like Ooh. I don't know. Hey, a tall puncher, you know who I'm thinking about to come on over here? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, yeah no. You, you there. Uh, you there. So when, you, when you said that, it came to my I'm like, you know what? That needs to happen. That will be kind of fire, low key. That would be fire. That would be fire. Ty Law be punching heads off. I see pro style in here. What up, though? What up? What up? What up? Yeah, we in here kicking it, man. I'm kicking it with B. Foster, man. The voice. Uh, that, I'm tagging you with that, man. I, I gave Nico the voice of the West. You the voice of Michigan for real, bro. That's hey, you can run with it. Yeah. I already, I already made myself NBR Foster child. I done yeah. gave self proclaimed that shit. Yeah. What up, though, Ro? Hey, Ro, you back in Detroit? If you back in Michigan, you should pull up to the event too. I know you was in Montana somewhere getting money, but you should definitely uh, come back. Man. <laughs> boy, that boy be traveling, man. That's my guy for real. Um, who else we got here, man? Uh, but yeah, uh, Joey Lima was class. I'm looking forward to that. Shout out to Young Rated, man, who's always open for critiques, always hitting me up, letting me know how he can get better. That was dope. Uh, he going against Mo better. I'm a little familiar with Mo. I've seen more uh, Young Rated than Mo, so this one should be interesting. How you feel about this one? Unfortunately, I would like to get excited about this battle, but I think this is one of the battles that's actually not going down. Like, you don't uh, think so? Mo, Mo had some uh, Mo. I won't go into it, but he he basically said that he was it was a it was iffy on it. So mm. he made it seem like more than likely it wasn't going to happen. But Young Raider, you want to talk about punchers? That's one of my favorite punchers in Michigan. He when was he on, when he when he on his shit, huh? He gets busy. He gets busy. I think he, he battled fire. I seen recently. That was vintage. That was the. That's the rated. That's the rated that I've been waiting to see for a year or so. Honestly. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's going down tomorrow. Uh, I see you. At, hey, shoe gang in the building. What up, shoe gang? Uh, yeah. No, nah, that he was. He was busy. Um, he was back to back with it too. He was saying shit that had times and everybody in there going crazy, man. I think. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I definitely want to see more of him and him involved, man. Uh, I rank him. I'm I'm ranking him high amongst punch, punchers in the state for sure. Like yeah. he, he definitely up there, man. Um, who else we got on here? Melo versus AOKO. I feel like AOKO. I see his recent battle. I. I'm not going to lie. I know he get a lot of shtick, but I feel like he was pretty improved in that battle. I'm not going to hold you. You know what? He had a particular bar. I can't remember, of course, off the top of my head. But, um, but yeah, AOKO is getting he, – he, that's one of the better versions of him I've seen. Yeah, so. he, he's, he's, he's improving. I hope he stick with it, no drop-off. But Melo, he can be a little different too, man. He can – he can hit you with some shit. That's gonna be an interesting battle. I feel like they both got a lot of improvements to to, to build on. Yep. But, I, <clears throat> but I feel like if they bring their best, it can be solid. So yeah, that could be. I mean, that battle had a little back to. I mean, I know they had got into it or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's on some group shit previously. So I feel like you know, it's gonna be some. <laughs> it's gonna be some words in that battle, but. Uh, the one thing about Melo that's interesting is he 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 pushed the envelope. Like it's not too much that Melo won't that that Melo won't talk about in a battle, and you know Melo like to get physical and aggressive. Yeah, it, it works to it works to his advantage sometimes. And sometimes it don't. It sometimes backfires. it sometimes it's a little extra. You just seem a little extra. Yeah, but um, that might that might be a little that might that battle might have a little something. It can be like a sneaky go one. It could be. It yeah, could. yeah, it could be a sneak. I, I, you know, what I'm saying I ain't got the highest hope. Like it's gonna be crazy, but yeah, yeah, me either. But I think it, you know, it can it can sneak up on us. Top Gunner Butter versus the uh, Dose Dope. Who? Another brother, another brother of mine. Um, <laughs> I'm a little impartial, but um, the pregame for that has been crazy. 
I've been seeing the back and forth. I've been seeing they they promoing. They doing their promo. Yeah, and then uh those dope we actually gave him rookie of the year on uh on my radio show. Uh, um, yeah, I saw that. I saw that uh the riding off that. Um, much much deserved when I seen a couple of his battles. I when when y'all gave him that, I wanted to see why. And I, I understand. Right, you're like, well, what's what's to that? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I was like, okay, yeah, he's definitely out of the like kind of the new crop of guys. He he stands out a bit. He definitely does. And mm-hmm. I thought that I thought that was deserving. And aesthetically, it's gonna look crazy because Bud is like six five, six four, six he's, five. He's a tall brother. And, and dose, and yeah, and Dose is like and in a big in a big nigga too. Yeah. And, Dose is like a little short Mexican dude. So, you know. Uh, Sometimes that works in the short guy's favor, though. Sometimes. It does. It does when you when you, when you you know how to sell your shit. Yeah. Um, like when Brex get up there and bark in a motherfucking face. It, That's what I was know. thinking about. Uh, uh, am I supposed to be checking my language in this? No, you are. Man, All right. Good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but yeah, 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 when you sell it correctly, it yeah. looks looks good. Yeah. Um, I think that those definitely needed to work on his comfort level, the, the appearance of his comfort level. Maybe okay. he doesn't yeah. appear, does, doesn't feel uncomfortable, right. but some of it doesn't come off like that. Um, you know, so you're going, you know, you're going to get up, up against somebody that when they say I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack you, I'm gonna smush your face, we are gonna believe it's that. It's gonna be real. <laughs> going against somebody a foot bigger than you, real, for real. It's gonna so, be real. Yeah. yeah. So it, it should be a good battle. Um, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going with butter. Um, but don't say some, some, uh, on the writing tip, he say some, he say some creative, that's what I know. He say some creative shit. I can't think of the line, but he said something. I was like, that caught my attention. I ain't heard nobody in the state say some shit like that. And I think that's kind of what gives him that rookie of the year status because it's like real quick, witty, and just different. I, I'm gonna go with the upset, man. I'm gonna go with Dose. I'm gonna go with the, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with him. Yeah, he had two battles that dropped like back to back. He had the so he, they, it was a, a four way battle, and then his battle with Melo dropped back to back. So mm-hmm. when with him winning both those battles clear, it was you know it was kind of it, it, it sold the rookie of the year. Yeah, yeah, and, it, and that's what got him on his card, man. You put in that work, you get on big cards like this. So, sir, shout out to those dope, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go with him for the upset. But I, I've seen, I've seen, he was against somebody that I thought they had the same name, but it was like just Dosey. Dose, Dose, Dose. Yeah. yeah. I was in the building for that. Man. Yeah, I think I did yeah. see you. Yeah, they were, they were both Mexicans, so they had Selena. <laughs> That shit was funny as hell. Yeah, no, that yeah, no, I've been I've been paying attention, man. I'm trying to get my my NBR game up, man. But uh yeah, that was I'm I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with him on the little upset right there. AP versus double O. Yeah, yeah, this is the battle for the uh Okay for the, according to Joey Lynn with the battle for the two for the second best tall nigga in, in Michigan. Uh, <laughs> the, the AP like he, he about six six two, six three. Mm-hmm. And double O. Double O like six six. Yeah, double like O tall. I seen him a couple oh, times. Fuck. I seen him a couple a couple of times. Um, I don't know which way to go. This is one of the tougher ones to call for me. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, I've seen them a couple of times, but I think just stylistically, I'm kind of leaning towards like what Double O does, just a little okay. bit. Like, I went I, back and forth. Um, oh, this is a I, tough. This is a tough one for you too. Yeah, when I went, when I, I think when I did my actual official predictions on my show, mm-hmm. I think I picked AP. Um, what made you? Which made you pick him? Honestly, I'm going off of his not his last performance, but his performance before that when he battled Real Snow outside. I don't know if it was it was a, actually a judge. I I judged it, but it was a judge battle for money. Mm. Um, he got busy. He was shaky okay. versus Joey Linwood, but um. I'm assuming, I, you know, my feeling is that he's going to be, he's going to lean towards his performance before that AP wise. Um, mm. As far as double O, double O, when he's on his shit, uh, his prep, he's got, he's got preparation. Normally he's got preparation issues. That's his biggest uh, downfall is his preparation. His so, material be good though. Yep. His material yep. be catching me off guard sometimes. I feel like he about to say something. Battle, I don't know. Did you see him battle uh, Matt? 
He battled Mac Myra. He, he battled Mac Myra? Yes, in Flint. Oh. Um, was that the same he, event uh, that Noah was on? No, this was Will, Will and Blackface. This was Ill Will and Ill Will and Mac were on the same car. Ill Will. Oh, I'm gonna put you on to some battles right now. All right, yeah, put me on because I don't. Ill, I don't Ill Will that. versus Blackface. This is bloody scene though. Okay, see, I'm thinking about Mac versus Tony Nova. The one that wasn't the same car. Oh no, no, no. This is this is a little. This is like two years ago. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to put, yeah, you got put. But me on um, right now. anyways. Yeah, Dub is a punch. Is another tall punch. Okay. And when he on his shit, he, he get busy. He get busy. And, oh, okay. and, and, and this time, he prepped early, and he said he and he said that he he been ready for this. Mm. Dub also battled uh, Butter as well. He was good for the Butter. That's the one I seen. Did you see that? Okay. That's the one I seen. Yeah. Okay. I, I can see. I can see you feeling like okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like him in yeah, that. Honestly. This battle is about 50 50, man. This could honestly go either way. Another I, think I, picked, I think I picked AP in my predictions, and I'll just, I'll just, I'll, 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 I'll go with what I, uh, you gonna stick with it? Yeah, but, but, duh, like I said, this girl in the car, and he ain't coming to this, he ain't coming to city, to the city to bullshit, so. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, oh, man, I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm gonna stick with my pick. Damn, I'm kind of swaying low key, but I'm, I'm gonna stick with either, it. Either way, I, <laughs> I can't be mad either way, honestly. Yeah, it's, no, one, no. Of, it's one of those. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that one. There's some, it's some attention grabbers on here for sure. Um, we're gonna look <laughs> into uh, Tony Nova versus Rain Terra. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a Tony Nova guy, man. I know, you know, sometimes he has some little issues with his material, but. You know, all in all, I feel like his energy be there. He got charisma. He's still a you know a, a, a one of the younger brothers in in the, in the state who getting to work in, and um, he's just very confident. And I feel like I feel like he just like one battle away from really taking off. That's just how I feel. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Rain. I'm gonna keep it short, but I'm gonna just go with Rain. Go right. <laughs> Yo, what up? We watch Battle Rap Podcast. Salute to them. They doing their thing in the uh, Battle Rap, the Battle Rap Mecca of New York. So, so salute to you. Salute to Banksy. She's dope, too. So, yeah, for sure. Uh, any particular reason you go over Rain? Um, I fuck with Rain. Not a, not a big fan of uh, Tony Not a big fan. Nah. I Personal. know. Personally, respectfully. I know, I know, I but <laughs> I I just wanted to see. You don't, but, you don't know, but <laughs> yeah, no, it's like that sometimes, man. I, I I rock with Tony, man. I think he got potential. Um, sometimes I go with potential over like actually like your track record. Sometimes just you know to to switch it up. I I used I, I used to you know rock rock with what he do, but yeah, Rain Terra three zero, even if it's a one. With the thirty piece, damn, damn, false. I ain't know. He, I, I thought you was about to be a two one clear. He hit with the thirty sack. Go on ahead, dog. All right, so we got Casey James versus FNS Chico. I ain't gonna lie, man. Nah. <laughs> Your body language ain't good for this one, bro. What's good? <laughs> this ain't this ain't the one for me, man. <laughs> Like, don't don't do this, Casey James. That's my brother. That's I know it is. That's my right. That's my right hand man. It's like for real, for real. I know you rock with him, bro. I just all right. Air it out. Air it out. I, I just want I want him to finish rounds, man. I've seen him versus King. King cooked him. <laughs> I remember that. I was there for that battle. I'm in the shots and everything. I was there for that so, battle. What? You said. uh you say you say who killed you say King cooked him? I thought King cooked him. I I ain't think that battle was close. I think he had one girl round, but I I still don't, I don't even feel like he won that round. There was another battle somewhere in Flint. The room was kind of dark, and he couldn't get through his shit. Every time the I watch room it, kind of dark. <laughs> Yeah, it was like I forgot. I forgot. I don't know what battle that was, but every battle I watch of Casey James, he just doesn't complete the task. And I just, 
I can't put my eggs in that basket no more, man. I done picked him like two or three times in certain battles, and I've been let down. So, Casey, man, it's nothing personal. But I've no, never Casey, even – I've never Casey, even seen Casey FNS. Knows, Casey know what it is. Like I've Casey. never even seen FNS. I, I, I don't speak – you know, I don't speak out, you know, outwardly about my people. But trust me, if, if they fucking up uh, – you know, they fucking up in battles, best believe behind closed doors, you know, they, they hear about it. Cause I don't, you know, I'm yeah. not doing you no know, justice if I don't if I don't tell you what it is, you know. Yeah, no, that's real. And I've never even seen FNS, to be honest with you. And I'm, and I'm rolling. Still, still fucking with Chico. And I'm still fucking with Chico. <laughs> I just cage. Uh, I done gave yeah. uh, hey man, I gave my trust to the brother, man. I, I he he done let me down, man. Like I like I almost was willing to put some a wager up on him versus Oh, him. don't do it. Nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna, nah. But but Casey James, prove me wrong. Show up, show out, because you got the material. It's never a question of the material. material is great. He's an amazing, an amazing rapper. Amazing on the beat. Be on the lookout. Ooh. Foster, Foster and Casey James coming real soon. Yeah. On a collaboration to the music. Okay. Guy. Okay. I, I like that. You know, I like this. <laughs> I can hear these, these artists on beats. But yeah, but, uh, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean... It's up. It's up. To, it's up to him. I hope he. I hope he, uh rehearsing right now. To be honest. Yeah, man. I, I'm. A, I'm gonna try to get this out in the morning. I hope he hear this. That's some motivation. Busy, like the, if you really listen, well, you've been listening. You know yeah. how. I, yeah. I hope he listen to this as some motivation, man. Because I'm telling you now, I ain't got you winning, Chief, but I respect you. I respect you. <laughs> he said I was gonna like, put some money up on it. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah, no, but shout, shout out to Casey James though. I know, I know you, I know you trying to cook. Um, uh, Reckless versus Don, man. I don't know anything about these two. Do you? What's what's your what's your recollection okay, so, on them? So did you see PDX versus uh, Loso the Don? Yes, I did. See okay, that. Los, Don is Loso the Don. Oh, that's what that is. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, handle your biz. Again, shout out to the people in the chat. I see y'all. Yeah, um, yeah, the Don is Loso the Don. He changed his name possibly because of Loso the bullpen. Loso. Right, of course. So, um, but yeah, so Loso out the gate, first time I ever seen him battle, um, I'm like, this dude is the head of the curve. Like, this dude to be a uh to be brand new, he was I feel like he was ahead of his time because he was Sparring with dudes like Smith and Big, Mr. Biggs. Biggs, I shot the Biggs. The, that's the people that he rocked with. So, um, what year did he come out? Was that twenty? And Loso came out. I call him Loso. I ain't calling him Don. But uh, yeah, Loso came out three years ago. About twenty seventeen. Oh, twenty. Yeah. Okay. But he wasn't like he never been super active back to back to back. <clears throat> but anyways, Loso was gets super crazy. Well, you say his strong point. Well, like, what's his? What you think his strength is? Right. Just the right. writing. He battled Joey Linwood. Did he? That, that was a great version of Loso. You want to watch a battle from Don Loso to Don Joey Linwood on hang close. I seen a lot of Joey battles. I don't remember that battle. Um, it wasn't battle. on Alpha though. It wasn't on. Oh, Alpha. Okay, there we go. That's probably why. Okay. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. But as far as reckless, reckless. Matter of fact, Reckless battled. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name. Uh, Reckless ain't really had no like crazy battles. None. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like a couple of his battles got vaulted because and, of him or the other person. You said what? Was it because uh, of him or the other person? Why did they get vaulted? Both of them. Uh, both of them. They were shaking. Both. I feel like you really ain't been getting through his material. Mm, damn. Loso is definitely gonna win if if if. if if uh or Don is definitely gonna win. If if uh Reckless win, I'll be shocked. I ain't gonna lie to you. And it's a cool nigga too. Cool nigga. But but battle wise yes. I, I haven't I just haven't seen it yet. Uh, it'd be like He's that. Doctor, but I ain't seen it yet. I bet. So that's 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 so let's let's go. Oh, forgot one. Mr. Biggs versus Verse the God. How can, we how can we forget? I'm familiar with both of these gentlemen. Yeah, Biggs. Out the gate, I'm going with Verse, man. 
I'm going with Burst. I'm going with Burst. Tell me why. Tell me why. Because I feel like Biggs is probably more consistent, but Verse be creating moments. I feel like sometimes his moments can be overwhelming. And also, like, his energy can match Mr. Biggs' energy. I feel like they can negate. It can be at a standstill. I feel like, um, and I feel like Mr. Biggs, I seen him versus the saga. While he was, he had some moments too. Mm-hmm. But I feel like he, like his style sometimes creates unnecessary dry spots that Versus don't. I feel like if, if Verse got a little dry spot. I feel, he, like Verse, I, Verse, I feel like Verse can be like that too, but I know what you're saying though. I feel like, yeah, I feel like they both can, but I feel like Verse gets out of his dry spot a little quicker than, than Biggs do. Sometimes yeah, yeah. It, may, it may take Biggs eight before he get back cooking. Biggs is a... His brain and the way he writes and way, the way he thinks, like he's an intelligent motherfucker. He know a million crazy words, and um, but yeah, he be losing the crowd for sure. Yes, um, I'm going <clears> first <throat> in that one. Who you got? I think I pick Bigs though because you know what, Bigs don't lose very often. Um, that's true. That's true. Like I, I, like I think I edge Saga by a hair, but that's fucking Saga. That's yeah, fucking Saga. <clears throat> <But> overall, <laughs> He beat Ice. He beat Tez Chasing. He did. Um, he beat everybody. He beat dog. He beat uh my my dog uh Sig show. Ah, uh, that's true. Did you see that battle? I did see it. Yep. Yep. You, yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. You. Right. Bigs don't lose. Damn man, you. I ain't gonna change my opinion, but you're right. I didn't really. Count all his battles I in, a, in a row. Every one of, no, I can't say I've seen every one in person, but I didn't see damn near seen 80, 90% of Big battles, and Bigs do not be losing. I forgot about that Tez one. He definitely got that. That that wasn't even, I don't even really like that battle. I'm going to keep it stacked at you. I don't even like that battle. But Bigs, one thing about Bigs, he is not going to choke. There's not a chance to tell he's going to choke. Um, even though I know Verse is going to be, I think Verse is going to be prepared for Bigs because he know what he up against. Um, and he battled Big's brother, uh, Smith, and and had uh, his prep. He had some prep issues against against Smith, but um, but yeah, Big's don't lose. <laughs> so damn, Big don't, don't lose. That's a crazy. That's crazy to say, but I can't like counter that because I I can't remember. Like I said, I had Saga winning too, but <clears throat> him like losing his, his uh, slipping and shit. That kind of made it even more closer. Esmo, Esmo said Bar Wars. Facts, facts. Biggs is Bar Wars. Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout. Oh, shout, uh, shout to I'm Esmo. Not, yeah, yeah I, I'm looking forward to that one. That's definitely one to watch. Because um, I feel like they both can. Versus, uh, versus Fire, though. They both, yeah. That, you want to talk about Battle battle of the Night? That could very well be Battle I think I'm going with that one. I think That's I'm going that's gonna be an aggressive battle. That's two dudes that really rap rap. Um, yeah, verse get crazy on a, on uh, on a writing t- on a uh, music tip. Mm-hmm. And Bigs do too. Have you ever seen? Have you? You need to hear Barney Rubble. Uh, you got iTunes? I had it. I don't. I don't know if I got it still. Who who music I, is I, that? I think he's streaming on all platforms. But Bigs got a song called Barney Rubble, and that song is fire. All right, I gotta fuck. I gotta look it up. I look it up, but yeah, I think. Let me look back at that flyer, man. It's a couple battle of the uh, night candidates. Bro. We didn't even talk about. We didn't even talk about Buck Gun and uh, Show. Oh no, I was saving the two main events for last. Oh, okay, okay, because yeah, because I'm not even <laughs> looking at the flyer, so yeah. I don't know. If you're bouncing around. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was just bouncing around to the undercard joints, but uh, yeah, because that's it. Like now we got fire and times. Which one you want to talk about first? Uh, we can we can talk about fire. Fire and times. Yeah. Now fire now for as good as um rated was against some fire had some shit too. He did actually have some shit in that battle, even though I feel like he he might have lacked a little bit on that shit just because um uh, I feel like he knew he had some shit coming up. Yeah. I, 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 fire fire got a lot coming up. Yeah. I, mean, I remember it was like a little point I seen on Facebook. He was it was almost like he was about to stop battling. I seen little comics. Fire. 
Shit. I seen <laughs> some. I don't know. Chris Lyons quit. Yeah. That. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I was tripping, but it seemed like he was like, like I'm done. You know, they all say they done with this shit. Man, these battle rappers, man, shut the hell up talking about you retiring. <laughs> you got it. You already got People, people say that and be having book, battles booked and shit. It's like, okay, why you say that? Yeah, that's funny. But yeah, no, I, you know, now I've seen him on all these cards. And so I'm looking forward to Fire seeing what he got. He improved a lot. I remember last when I seen him on Hit List Battle League versus... Did you like Hit List? The Hit List event? Uh, the Hit List uh, performance? Versus uh, Ace Vegas. Yeah, I thought he got busy for Ace. I thought he was good in spurts. But it was just something. No, yeah, he fucked. No, he fucked Ace Vegas up because I told Ace. Oh, he was wild in first Ace. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm tripping. He he was good against Ace. I guess you know how some maybe somebody else's performance can bring a battle down. Maybe that's what it was because I told Ace like you took too long to get to the punch. He was punching immediately. So (laughs) (laughs) very busy. Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping. No, he was good. He was good in that. So yeah, damn. I'm looking forward to this one too, man. I feel like fire gonna be dope. But I feel like time's been sitting. Like I don't, I don't remember him battling since the the, the Grand Prix. Now nah, he hasn't. He time showed me his his ability to control his pacing against Marv. Like he started off very. He wasn't just out the gate, you know. Da, 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 da. He like, cause times can do what Geechee does. I feel like. When you live that real life and you got a lot of stories to tell, uh, and you got these stories to tell, the slower it is, the more vivid it becomes. Like mm-hmm. people can really feel that shit. So him slowing that shit down so you can really un- like that's gonna be I different. Think it that he was really going too fast. One of them shits, he was just. I think it was Jay Murder. It was he- Jay. It was Jay Murder for me. Yeah. I, yeah, I thought he was going 100 miles per hour. Man, yeah, and it's. And it's cool because it's it's nonstop, it's adrenaline, and you don't see him like for a motherfucker like some dudes. Some dudes like they, they, they the breath control is off, and like he he relentless from beginning yeah. to end. I don't know what it is. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, that's a high energy battle like him versus franchise would be crazy. <laughs> like it'd just be. There's a lot of matchups. I hope I hope King Sadat got a lineup ready for him because that's what we that's who they need to build on as a motherfucker like that. Like they want to talk about oh uh, King Sadat is like this. Ooh. No, you got the the one of the most street gutter motherfuckers. Put him on King Sadat and talk about oh King Sadat is it's bubble gum soft. No, yeah, no, nah, he definitely ain't that man. And as yeah. good as good as Fire Ben, I, I gotta go with times because like. You know, he. I think he said something that this ain't too many times he gonna be like on, on there like that, like on these cars like that. So get it. Yeah, in I thought, I'm, I'm hoping that 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 King of the Dot got a got a got a got a something for him so that he, so that you know he on these big platforms and he, and then when he and he battle a person like Fire, he can bring bring they shit up like oh I, I you know the King of the Dot fans oh I like times I watch him first on Fire or something like that. And yeah. build them up. Yeah, man. Each one, teach one. Then, like, all of Michigan could get on, man. I definitely yeah. want to see that. I'm going to go with Times 2-1. I'm going to go with Edge, though, because I feel like Fire. I think dudes be knowing when it's a level up battle. Like, no, this is a level oh, up. Oh, he, come on. He know. I will. I interviewed him on Monday. Okay. Uh, on my show. So, we got a chance to talk to him for, like, 30 minutes or whatever. Mm-hmm. But he know what it is. He know that he got to, you know. I like that. Definitely like to hear that. And uh, yeah, man, last but not least, man. Whoo. Sick. The man versus Michigan, bro. This is one I'm looking forward to for real, for real. This is another one when I say this one, Times versus Fire, um, Polo versus Bird versus versus Biggs. And um, all, all top gunners, all yeah, top gunners. They the need yeah. some battle of the night candidates, man. This is a jam packed car, man. If you in the if you in the city, you in the state, man. Pop on up tomorrow. Around. You can you can dig yourself out of the snow. Yes, sir. Schaefer. Snow out there. Yeah. yeah, man. It's on Schaefer, Detroit, man. Please pop out. How you feel about this main event, man? Um, the pregame has been fun, of course. Absolutely. Uh, Big show, another 
Team U affiliate. Okay. So, so you know, you, you got it on record, you know, six shows. Don't take the dub. But, uh, yeah, this recorded, not- man. This, remember that. This oh, yeah, oh, yeah. This- yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I know I'm on record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, but yeah, Gun, Gun get busy. He got that, he got that rapid fire, um, style too. Um, mm-hmm. six show, six show, <laughs> you know, he been making noise on, on the music tip. Yeah, been man, away that. from battle rap. Songs with Sada Baby, songs with John Boy. If you know anything about Detroit, Music, you know about you know about John Boy, you know about Sada Baby, of course. Um, but as far as battle rap, he always had Six Show always had that too. Honestly, he came back and was main event off top. You know he, you know he he didn't he didn't walk back in on some like oh middle of the car type shit. He yeah. took a years off from from battle rap and jumped straight back in on some top notch uh, battle rap shit. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, Six Show, he just always had it. As far as, when you you talk about authenticity. Oh, that's there in abundance. Yeah, you know, he he, he always, you know, Six Show always had it. So, um, it's going to be a war. Um, Gun going to do his thing, but I think he, I think he definitely going to fall short, though. Um, Mm. Damn. uh, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good battle though. It's gonna be a good battle. So, see, I wanted to go with an upset, but honestly, I can't see it. Well, who's the favorite to you? Who's the favorite to you? I Six feel. Show, I feel like I still feel like Sig is the favorite because. What you mean from Sig? So, what was your? Do you have a standout for you, or do you you don't really? A standout for wait who? As far uh, Sig show. This might have. This might have been a long time ago, so don't clown me if I'm. Well, the six show been gone, so yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I was saying. Don't, don't, don't get, don't get on my helmet. Oh um, no. But uh, who was the, the homeboy, man? Uh, this was in. This was when. Okay, didn't he battle on that same card that JC battled somebody? Um, like in a. I don't know if it was a pool hall or a bar. That was, was so was it? That was no, no. He didn't battle JC, but he was there. You know uh, what I'm talking about? No, I don't think that was Six Show. No, I don't think that was JC. Nah, he never been on college. He never been on Six Show battle Bigs. You said you saw Bigs, right? That yeah, but that ain't the one I'm talking about. Against that, you ever seen him against Stack Almighty? Write these down. You need to was see that them. a one rounder? Yes. That's the one. Cause it was a run round battle. That's yeah. the one. He got some fire as one round. That yeah, that's the one. I've seen I've seen two battles of his and they I think they both was one rounders, honestly. Yeah, no, honestly his best work has been one round. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna hold you up. Yeah, okay. See, I know I wasn't tripping. I know I've seen him, but yeah, they were one rounders, so I can't really like, remember visibly, but I know he got busy. Damn, and I'm and now that you tell me, I can't believe that was Stack Almighty. I, that's funny as shit. I didn't know that was Stack when I was he watching him. Stack, he battled, um, damn, he battled Biggs. He battled, um, man, he got a song. He, he, I gotta, I gotta send you some battles. Uh, send me battle. some more, man. There's a because I'm I'm Team U, right? There's yeah, for team, sure. It's a Team U versus everybody card. And he battled Stack Boy Chuck. Do you know who Stack Boy Chuck is? Absolutely, he the champ, man. He, facts. He the champ. Right. Facts. Yeah. Facts. I got I'm gonna send you that too. I'm gonna send you that too. Yeah, Stack Boy Chuck get busy. Um, he battled Stack Boy Chuck and got busy as well. Oh, I would love to see that. I would love to see that. I'm, I'm very. I got to write that down. I got to write that down. Um, yeah, yeah. I need. I need uh, those. Uh, Got my pen. Got, there we go. My... Yeah, I need I need all of those, bro. I need I need to get this get this knowledge up on what's been going on, man. I've been... Yeah, yeah. Team, team, yeah, team you versus everybody. Um, and he battled Stack Boy Chuck. That he got very busy. Um, yeah, because I need to get that, man. I've been t- too focused on the on the national wave. I need to come back no, I, home. I, I, <laughs> I need to come home. 
it's time to come on. Oh, home. And yeah, and then he had a a, a three person battle against uh, TID Glow and and uh, Vicious Inc. as well. But, oh wow! Yeah, you 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 you'll get lost in Michigan battle rap, you know, rocking with me because I I I tell you about all this. Now I need that, bro. I need that. Yeah, definitely send that through. For those of you who don't know, yes, again, this is uh, St. Valentine. The voice, though, you know, like you said, the voice. Yeah, you the voice, bro. You got I, that. I, I'll get you together. I, yeah. I have 20 battles deep. You be like, damn, I didn't seen it all. Yeah, put me, y'all, anything Michigan related. I'm hollering at you, bro. You on the show. You got an automatic seat at this table, bro. You already know. That's official. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, you, you the man for that. Uh, again, for those of you who don't know, we're talking about St. Sat- Valentine's Day Massacre 3. It's going down tomorrow, man. Please, please pull up if you're anywhere, and I mean anywhere within the area. Uh, the address is uh, 15715 Schaefer Highway, Detroit, Michigan. Uh, ladies, ladies are free until 8 p.m. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know that. Damn. Yeah. Hold on. I, I need to slide something through. <laughs> I ain't got to pay for all. Let me slide her through. Yeah. La- ladies free until, uh, uh, yeah, free until 8 p.m. Where am I going at? Where am I going at? Yeah. To- uh, $20 entry until 10. Um, what else they got? 6 p.m. to midnight. Food is available and it's 420 friendly. You know, here in the, in the great state of Michigan, it's all legal. So, right. you know, not that, it, not that it would matter, too. Nah, not that it would matter, but the fact but that the it way is. we do around here, man, it's, it's whatever, though. You got the edibles, you know, my dog single had the edibles for show for show. Um, Absolutely. Good, good music. It's yeah, they got good. live performances going down as well. So, yeah, like, exactly. it's going to be, and it's all love, man. Anytime I went, it was, they were very welcoming because they knew I was going to, you know, do interviews and, and do my thing to try to highlight them and also, like, do, uh, like, hashtags and stuff on Twitter, let people know about the event. Uh, I think, the, I can't remember last time I was there, but I know, like, people like Anwar and people from Champion and other different uh, big time, like, media outlets wanted me to, like, let them know what was going on because they wasn't familiar with Michigan battle rap. So I I tried to cover them to the best of my ability and end up being a good event. So shout out to Alpha League Entertainment. Yeah, pull up if you in anywhere in the area, man. It's a dope card, man. Got some bright stars on here and some people looking to really make a name for themselves, man. And like I said, shout out to Rosa Productions. They do a phenomenal job. Like, you know, so uh, are you going, you going to be in the building? I'm I'm planning on being in the building. You yes, plan on being in the building? Well, yeah, definitely, you know, man. You know, I got a couple of people in the car that I got to come rock with and so support. So. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, yo, be false, man. I I couldn't thank you more, man, for doing this with me, man. Real shit. I was not gonna talk about this event because, like, I knew everything, man. You definitely was an incredible guest and definitely helpful. I gotta have you back on again soon, bro. <laughs> Let me know when, man. I'm about to get on my caffeine wave too, man. Uh, Definitely. Let I, know. I think my shit is MBR Foster Child. Or I, I ain't no telling what my actual. I think shit. it is. When you follow me, I think I seen it was the same. So. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I, I've been trying to make that. Uh, uh, yeah. My shout out to my dog Trouble. My dog Trouble. You know. Yeah. I, I had to shout him out. Uh, you know, P, P Rock niggas got bars. Mm. Uh, but uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to make my name linear on everything, man. Uh, That's important. That's important. But, uh, yeah, Instagram, Twitter, and caffeine, I guess. And you are fucking child. I think I'm about to get on my live wave, man. Maybe I can get some of my Michigan Battle Rap folks on the... uh, Please. You know. I beg you, please. (laughs) Get them all here, man. Let them know there's a world outside of Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta, we gotta get out here because honestly, though, first of all, we got the most, you know, colorful personalities in the world. We just gotta get them out there to where they can be seen to keep it a stack. I think first and foremost, bad like bird, funniest, funny, probably one of the funniest females I ever, I've ever met in person. Hilarious. All right, well, we gotta do that then. We gotta. We got to get them out there. I see Mama. Shout out to Mama. Shout out to Shoe Gang. All cap aside, I see y'all what in got here. A, a, a Lux? What, what's the uh, person? 
Isn't who? Don't you got a uh? Don't you got a person that be following Lux or uh Loaded Lux or some type of? Talking about the girl Loaded Lex. Loaded Lex, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She dope. She dope. She know her shit too. So shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I seen her. I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I yeah, shout out to Loaded Legs. I see unique bars in here. Shout out to you. Is that a battle rapper? Unique bars. There is a unique bars. That's a bad. Yeah, it is a, it is. I know a battle rapper named Unique Bars. I don't know if this is her. Oh, it's a different person. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it is her or not. Um, damn it. URL TV is in here. I didn't know that. Shout out to you guys. URL in this bitch? Yeah, the verified joint. Shout out to you. Oh, the parrot. <laughs> I was just like. Be- Beasley in this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to me, yo, Beasley, uh, uh, Troy, if that's you. No, I'm saying. <laughs> Facts. <no. laughs> yeah, yeah. No, shout out, salute, man. I didn't, I ain't know that. Right, man, you, you, you the man. You no, the man. I, I never know who be in here rocking with me, man, but it's a pleasure, man. But yeah, man, thanks to the one and only. MBR Foster Child for joining me, man. Again, get your tickets if you're in the area. Pull up, get you a little smoke, a little music, and some dope ass battles, man. Anything else you want to uh, so, uh, plug? You go right ahead. You got... um, no, no, definitely shout out to Team U. I should have. This is this is you know Team Unguardable Apparel. They got jerseys, uh, crew necks, jackets, all that shit. Shout out to my boy Ill. He do all the he do all the apparel. Um, shout out to AHG Radio. Shout out to my co-host Jose Langston June. Uh, damn, what else, man? Saint Valentine's Saint Valentine's Day massacre going down tomorrow in the city. Um, shout out to my boy Ledge for putting me on the show. You know, Always. I've been, I've been waiting to you know get on my caffeine shit for show. Um, but yeah, shout out to the whole Detroit Detroit battle rap. My brother Stevie D, Dungeon Battle Reviews. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shout out to my mama who made it here. <laughs> <laughs> mama. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. a little fried. I'm off that Sarat. No, fried. get fried, man. I hear you. Man. I need to do the same. But, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Time just hopped on my live. Shout out to 50, 50K Times. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shout out to Times. What up, though? Shout out to KLTD, you know. All of them. All of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's it. Man. That's all I got. Hey, yo, again, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Y'all know y'all the best. Um, We out of here. I'll holler at y'all maybe Monday, taking tomorrow off to be with the lady on Valentine's Day. You got to. to. So, yeah, man, we out. And as always, keep it battle rap, peace, and love. Later.